In today's video, I'll improvise a wireless mic and save a couple of pounds. To use this method, you'll need a smartphone. Here we have an iPhone. You can pick up an optional lightning port splitter for about seven pounds. The iPhone requires an adapter, which costs about 10 pounds. For an Android phone, you can find a similar adapter. You'll need a lav mic, this one was in the region of nine pounds. We connect the mic up to the lightning adapter. In the case of Android, this could be a USB adapter, a USB type C. The lightning splitter is connected to the adapter. We connect the whole lot to the phone. And for those longer shoots, you can optionally connect a battery pack. Install and run the Dolby On application. Hit the record button to start recording and hit stop once you're finished. It's as simple as that. We can have a look at the track that we've just recorded, track six, and then we're going to save it. Start recording on your camera and start recording on the Dolby On app. Use a clapperboard or just simply clap at the beginning and the end of your clip, ensuring both devices are recording. It is a little bit more difficult than um, having a wireless mic, um, such as the, uh, the Rode Go, but it is a money-saving solution. I used this method to record some video on a GoPro and audio on my phone using the Dolby On app. Let's have a look at how to use Adobe Premiere Pro to synchronize the clips on the timeline of course, other editors can be used to perform this task, but as I use Premiere, I'm going to demonstrate in Premiere. We've already imported the clips into the media bin and just go ahead and drag them onto the timeline um, in some kind of rough alignment. We then select the GoPro and audio tracks. Note the GoPro does contain both audio and video and the, and the Dolby track contains audio only. We then select both tracks, right click and click on synchronize, ensuring we're using the audio to synchronize. We can then mute the tracks accordingly and see which sounds the best. I'm hoping it's going to be the Dolby On track. Here is some example footage. First, let's listen to what the GoPro 5 sounds like by itself with no mic whatsoever. You that know the area will know what's coming up on the left hand side and there it is. High bridge caravans. Here's the same clip, but with the Dolby On soundtrack selected. The view that know the area will know what's coming up on the left hand side, and there it is high bridge caravans. Now let's have a look and a listen at some random musings recorded in our van with the windows down and the fan running, so it's actually quite a challenging situation from an audio point of view. So have a listen and see what you think. Yeah, we need to get our van in as soon as possible. There's some um, more warranty work that's that's come up over the course of being in lockdown. And another caravan site on the left-hand side, Green Acres. Village of Mark off to our right. Did one of our pub reviews was down that road there. And here's yet another caravan, dealership caravan site on a right hand side, the windmill. No shortage of um, caravans and caravanning related places um, um, in this part of the world. Burnham on Sea, Barrow and Breen down there. And we're going to head up to the village of Brent Knoll to Garden World. And on the left-hand side, I hope the camera is picking it up, there is Brent Knoll. As we come around the, the bend in the road, we should get a better view of that. The burnham on uh, website was showing some deer, um, some wild deer roaming around Brent Knoll. I think it was yesterday or the day before, but you know, that kind of thing only makes me hungry. 
nice tasty deer sandwich. Garden world on the right. I do like to park a little bit away from the entrance. I don't know what the attraction is that everybody needs to park their vehicle at the front door of wherever you're going. A bit of a walk is not a it's not too much of a harmful thing. All right. Mission accomplished. Let's get out of here and off home. And yet another RV related place, West Country Motorhomes on the left. Full of motorhomes, nobody looking around, but I believe that situation changes from next week. That'll be a good day. That little runner over there, slightly bigger than the one I'm driving. Oh, BT are up the pole. Welcome to High Bridge and Burnham on Sea. Coming up is a bridge over the River Brew, which is the common knowledge is that this is what High Bridge is named after. This was a high bridge, and we're on it now over the River Brew. Some nice abandoned houses. There was a bit of a fire there recently. This is now where the River Brew has been diverted. Trim that bush, mate. Very rural down here. Farmy and pooey. A lovely, um, it's a lovely little lane to ride a bicycle down. I haven't had the heart to do it more than once when Kaz has been housebound and we sit with a pair of nice bicycles in the shed. She's got an electric one as well. Oh well, June is coming, or July is coming, whenever we allow to go out again. It's going to be hard to see, but when we do a sticker swap, Come on, car. When we do a sticker swap, there's a post box around here. We can see the pole sticking out the bushes in front. Don't know what angle the camera is going to be at. But it's just here, it's our little local post box. Funny little car. Thanks for watching. Remember to follow us on social media. Subscribe to our channel, give us a like, and turn on notifications. Bye. Bye.